Let's bowl off with the cricket. The Cricket West Indies elections are set for March 21. And just as they did two years ago, the Jamaica Cricket Association, JCA, looks set to throw its support behind incumbent Ricky Skerritt. However, a director has blasted the approach taken by players to, to snub the current tour of Bangladesh. Jerome Foster reports. In 2019, it may have come as a surprise to onlookers that the JCA didn't support Jamaican Dave Cameron in his bid for a fourth term as CWI president. But this time, the JCA looks set to be giving a vote of confidence to the incumbent, with Vice President Dr. Donovan Bennett saying he has seen enough for Ricky Skerritt to continue. I am, I am happy with what they've done so far. Right? My support or lack of support in the last election had nothing to do with the performance on the field. It was not a performance on the field problem that I had. My my problem had to do with other aspects of the run of the cricket at the at the at the West Indies level. Yes, we are not doing well now um, on the field, but a lot of systems have been put in place by the current president to ensure that what happened in the past will probably never happen again. Rumblings have emerged recently about a possible challenge of a scarit. And Dr. Bennett confirmed being contacted. But while refusing to reveal that person's identity, Bennett says the person is connected to CWI. I have heard rumors, right? Uh, I have gotten at least one call um, asking for my support, right? Uh, at this point in time, again, there are rumblings, but, but, there, but nobody has officially so far put their two the hats into the ring, as far as I know. Meanwhile, the former youth selector slammed the approach taken by some players to shun the current Asian tour, even as they ply their trade in ongoing franchise tournaments. What really surprised me is that some of the players who, that, who did not go were players who you'd have expected to go because these, some of these players was in their, they're in their infancy as far as international cricket was concerned. And I, I would have thought that it, it would have been a good opportunity for them to go, go to Bangladesh, do well and, you know, and hold their hands up. The product has, is not a reflection of the administration, all right? At, even at the West Indies level, the product is not a reflection of the administration. Basically, it's a reflection of where we are now as a country and as a region. The commitment from the players is just not what it should be. Dr. Bennett was speaking on Hits 92 FM Sports Grill on Thursday. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports. Meanwhile, Dr. Bennett will be the chief medical officer for the upcoming regional Super 50 competition in Antigua. The tournament, which will run from February 7 to 27, will have a unique setup in the midst of the pandemic and it serves as a precursor for the West Indies' impending home series against Sri Lanka. I'll basically be the enforcer because the tournament will be held in a bubble. They'll be held in a sterile bubble. Yeah. You know, once the players get in, they can't come back out. They'll be from the hotel to the ground and, and back to the hotel. You know, that, mm -hmm. that type of control will be in place to, to ensure. Because there is coming to spread in, um, in, um, in, in Antigua. In so we're not going to allow them to go out at all. You know, they'll be in a bubble. So I am going there as a feed medical officer slash enforcer to, um, to make sure that all the protocols are, um, are kept. 